I can tell you it's, it's the most tragic thing that happened in my life when I lost my son in the World Trade Center. Bruce Reynolds was a police officer for the Port Authority who died in the line of duty on September 11, 2001. His father's uptown Manhattan apartment is a sort of museum dedicated to his son. But just up the street, there's another memorial for Bruce. It's called Bruce's Garden. Bruce's Garden is an oasis. It's a place unlike any other spot on the island, quite frankly. And it's a very fitting gesture for, for the kind of person that Bruce was. Hello. Oh, you haven't seen the, uh, the beehives, perhaps. Well, this is our herb garden. It's been dubbed the cemetery because the person who designed it, you know, if you look at it, it looks like a cemetery. <laughs> this is a, a living memorial. Bruce's garden is definitely a living memorial, not only to Bruce, but to all those from the neighborhood who died that day. In the late 1960s, the Reynolds family moved from Pittsburgh to the Inwood neighborhood in Upper Manhattan. They were one of the first African-American families in that community. They set about to make their new home a better place, starting with a neglected corner of a nearby park. At that time, the park was, was really not being very well taken care of by the Parks Department. And um, we did the taken care of it. Bruce, myself, and my friends. In time, they reclaimed the area. It was a perfect activity for young Bruce. Bruce was, was a nature boy. When he was three and four years old, I was teaching him about growing flowers and planting flowers and all that. And then from that, Bruce grew into the garden at, at the park. He was amazingly popular in the neighborhood, period. I mean, everybody loved him in the neighborhood. All of his friends will tell you that, that he was a very giving person. And as young as he was, whatever they needed or needed done or whatever, Bruce was there and did it. He always wanted to be a policeman. So when he did become a policeman with the Port Authority, that was a very important thing in his life. After he died, the garden to which his family had given so much of their time was named after Bruce. There were memorial services and uh, there were all kinds of uh, remembrances for Bruce. I still recall it and I still remember it and I still shed tears over it. <clears throat> you know. And now Bruce's garden is a thriving space for both nature and community. Bruce's garden is a place for everyone, anyone don't have to live in Inwood, you can be from anywhere in the world. When visitors first come to the garden, they are astounded by the beauty and serenity of this little space. Right where we are now, right where we are now, what you hear right now is the way it sounds all day, every day. And we're in Manhattan, we're on the island of Manhattan. It sounds like this all day, every day. At 96, Mr. Reynolds isn't able to get to the garden much these days. And the loss of Bruce is still raw, years later. And my son, naturally, I mean, he was the only son I had. It's very hard for me because I'm dredging up memories. This garden is a memorial and it's important because his story and others like his should be remembered, no question should be remembered. I hope that the next generation has enough motivation to make sure that the garden is kept up. I mean, there are many places like this on the planet. But Bruce's garden, Bruce's garden is, uh, it's like magic. What can I say? <laughs>